robotics program changed this year. It used to be a club, and now it's co-curricular, and it's with my advanced robotics only. I did pick a few beginning freshmen that had an interest that I thought would be beneficial. And some of it worked out, some of it didn't, but it's uh, the advanced classes are all my competitive. Well, we do different kinds of programming um, on our class bots that we have. And we also do like inventor drawing, which is basically like a 3D CAD. So you can like see, you can build like parts. You could even build a whole robot like on the computer and test it and see if it works. We never started off on a computer. We never worked with CAD as much as everybody else had. We would always get an idea, draw like a napkin sketch, and then just start building. And if it worked bad, then we'd scrap it and get a new one, or we'd innovate what we had already. The robot we have now is actually our third design for this year. Um, it has two catapults on it with a single intake and one catapult set up to shoot across the field and one catapult set up to shoot halfway through the field. It's really fun. Just it's, it's hard to start, but once you start learning and getting the swing of things, you catch on pretty fast and you meet a lot of new people. I started out seven years ago with five students and we won one trophy and it was a state trophy and then we got to go to the world. And after that, it just snowballed. And in the last four years, I've had a tremendous group, and they've set a standard of at least having one team qualify for the world. And uh, you do that by win winning several qualifying matches, but then the spot at the state is the one you really, really want. The competition, they're clean, they're fun. Uh, everybody's there just to have a good time. Now, the Worlds is when it all gets big and everything because you have people coming from every single country and going to this one little area, um, either in California or where I went to, it was Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we're in this, another stadium type of thing, but you have people there like North, uh, I believe it's Northrop Grumman. Uh, you have the military there showing off some of their, their robots, little gadgets, they have games. What I found though is I just give them equipment some instruction, a little bit of help, but 90% of everything they do, it's all them. And uh, to me, that's the thing that makes me glad to have the program. It's always been sort of like that prominent, like male thing that like they do the heavy, like, like the heavy lifting, like the industrial work, but it's not really true because I've taken many industrial classes here and I mean, yeah, I'm always like the minority, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. The teacher, I've, I've always liked him. I've always been in one of his classes. He's just been a cool guy to me and most of the other people, so I feel like he deserves to have somebody who he can look forward to and have somebody there to help him out. But then every once in a while, if one of these people ever have a question, they can always see me after school and I come in for meetings and after work and all that. Uh, I throw my two cents and they take it and do whatever they want. It's more like just coming in and hanging out than an actual class. Overall, my whole team, who I was with since freshman year, we're not just the team here. Like We hang out outside of school, we're all friends. So I like to be involved because I get to see them, hang out with them. I enjoy the people because we've made so many memories, like different trips that we've been on. Like I feel like I'm always in this room. Like I, I'm in here twice a day and I come in here in the mornings and I'm here after school and on the weekends. And it's it doesn't bother me that I'm here like 24-7, and it's great.